Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to week 16, if I'm not mistaken. Welcome to week 16, guys. Uh, this is an exciting week. All right, lots of stuff happening. Uh, let me do my shout out to everyone. I saw Ibn Abbas. I saw Marwan, how are you doing, my brothers? Nabin, millionaire, Harinda Dagar, Rita, QNET official, Jacinta Yahweh, Bonet Preswala, SKA Poros, all right, Debatra, Mighty, Bargavi, uh, Marwan Ibn, Sharfun, how are you, dear? All right, Vijayan, Narendra, how are you? Zais Rashid, Rash, Rasu Vinod, Abhishek, Arvin, Kalai, how are you? Kosal, Kalai, Kalai, I love your Insta post. It's rocking. All right. Uh, Yanoch, Hakim, Sarah Zalmadi. All right. Lorin, the V official in the house. Vicky Ras, who was just with me in Malaysia. All right. I hope the kids are happy. You're back home. Avini, Michael, Watsala, Di Silva, Yashu. How are you, Yashu? I hope it's rocking. Uh, Bridges, Yashu, congratulations on your unbelievable event, Magic in Bangkok. I saw photographs. Um, uh, there's a Kalai. Kalai Arasi. Kalai, there's another Kalai Arasi. All right. Swarna, Black Swan, how are you? All right. Pravin Singh, Margaret Mary, Kevin, Semo, Hemraj, Kwanush, Zulu. How are you, Apu? All right. Mani, Mohit, uh, Hem, uh, Vijay Rishi. Um, I see Rajput, Shaiza. Tiny Kunan, I hope your your leg is getting better. Apu, we need you rocking. Ranjan from India, Subu, Harshad Kadiri, Kapoor King, Saumya Sanda Lion. Oh, I love the name. All right, Deepa Buddy. Deepa, is that you, Deepa? Rizwan World, Avini Michael, uh, Satya Anand. How are you, Anand? All right, I hope the family is doing okay. Stay strong. Alin Clark, Cryptic Deep, Allah Kisas. Sati in the house, V partner Sati. All right, how are you, Mike? Uh, Shamir, Sawadi Kap, Sati is in Thailand. Salam, Mobin, Kursh, Ravia, Hunger from Iran. Tipa, how are you, Ma? Satyam, Sushil Roy, Arshad. Um, I see you guys. I see you guys. Uh, sorry if I missed out anyone. Ready, Bo Ready, Courier, Bazaar. All right. Well, greetings, greetings, greetings. Firstly, once again, uh, Assalamualaikum and Ramadan Karim to all my Muslim brothers and sisters. If you saw my Insta post, I had to wish like tons of of communities Happy New Year on April 14. Um, bonjour, bonjour, bonjour to all my friends, speaking brothers and sisters. Privet to all my Russian-speaking brothers and sisters. Ola, Vigets, all right. Uh, greetings to everyone in QN Europe. Uh, namaskaram, Namaste, Vanakam, Sastrikal, all right. Um, Aibowan, uh, Mekalawa, Sinchao, Apakabar, Nihauma, all right. And greetings to everyone around the world. Um, there are events happening all around the world. I'm going to speak at an event in Bangkok, I think, and this week. And um, I'm just excited, guys. I'm freaking excited. All right. Found my chief hat just to remind you, all right, that I am your upline. I represent the two most amazing networkers on the planet, Japadas Bismarck, Dato Sri Vijay Ishwan, our founders. And um, today I was just out. Uh, you know, my son loves to go to the aquarium shop and pick fish. I, I, I'm a big animal lover, guys. I have fish, everything in my house, right? My house is like a zoo. So I'm so happy that my older son, Aryan, all right, uh, loves animals as much as I do. That's a good thing, okay? And while I was out there and I came back home, I was just on the call talking to my brother, the one and only J.R. Meyer. And uh, I realized something, okay? I think our business has been complicated. Uh, I don't know whether we are guilty of it, you are guilty of it, the internet is guilty of it, but I like to simplify things for the simple reason that complicated things are harder to communicate. So if you realize one thing, 
All right, our journey of networking is all about communication, talking to people, talking to prospects, talking to uh, signups, talking to people who are actively building, talking to your leadership, all right, talking to the people out there, family, friends who don't necessarily believe in what we do, society, all right, and occasionally you may be in a position to talk to somebody in the government, media, I don't know. But I think the world has complicated network marketing. Now, I believe in simplicity. Keep it simple. All right. Keep it simple, stupid. All right. Uh, K-I-S-S. All right, guys. And I think society today is hungry to take anything and make it complicated. Like this whole talk of what's happening around the world economy, blah, 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 blah. You know what's happening around the world economy. All right, uh, governments just mismanage their funds and they are having problems managing their funds today. It happens to us in our personal lives. If you don't manage your funds properly, if you spend more than you have, if you max out your credit cards without money in the bank, eventually you have financial problems. All right, now you take that and you apply it to a government. A government is like an individual. Some governments overspend on the wrong things. All right. And some governments basically don't know how to conserve money and don't know how to reinvent themselves and don't know how to find new sources of income. All right. They don't know how to become networkers, entrepreneurs. All right. Now you had the same problem and the purpose why you signed up was to improve your financial standing. Now let's not run away from that topic. Now we have great products. Network marketing is a very professional industry. But the matter of fact is that anyone who gets into network marketing and takes it seriously, is looking at it as a source of income. They just want to make a little bit more money. Some of the serious people want to make a lot of money. And the very, very serious committed people who turn network marketing into a career basically want to make 10,000 a week, 50,000 a month. You know, these are the big boys, the big girls. Now, network marketing allows anyone to make any amount of money depending on their desire, their willingness to work, their commitment, all of that. Now, if you want to keep it simple, I did a module once at VCon, I think Kalai remembers. I did the trail towards your dream because ultimately all of us have dreams. All of us want something. I am yet to find somebody, even the most spiritual person, unless they are in the mountains somewhere, But even those meditating in the caves, I think they want nice caves. I think they want to upgrade their caves to nicer caves. I don't know. All right. But the bottom line, we all want better things. There's nothing wrong with this. All right. If you drive a car for five years and every day you go online and you see that same car, they launch a new model, which is better, shinier, more advanced technology. You want it. All right, you switch on your TV, advertising hits you, hits you, hits you. You want a certain watch, you want certain jewelry. Even I found out, you know, I only use one perfume my whole life. It's called 4711, something our grandfathers use from Germany. It's not even a perfume, it's a eau de cologne, it's like a spray. Because I smell good naturally. All right, but I found out that perfumes can cost like thousand US dollars. Is this true? All right, you must smell, you must smell really bad if you need to spray thousand dollars on you to smell good. But everybody has desire, all right? And it's okay to have dreams. It's okay to want better things. It's okay to want nicer things. It's okay to want financial freedom. It's okay if you want to be rich because your whole life you were poor. I guess this is life, all right? People want better things. They want more things and there's nothing wrong with it. So if you look at network marketing, It's a vehicle that hopefully can get you the money to get nicer things, give your family better things, live in a slightly bigger house, have a more comfortable life. You you, you understand? And, And stuff like that. So I find it absolutely normal for humans to have this desire. The problem is 99% of humans have the desire. They don't get off the sofa to do anything about it. Now, you guys on my Insta Live, you guys who have become networkers with QNet, The one thing that differentiates you from the rest of the world, you got off that sofa and you signed up and you started your journey. Now, as much as there's a lot of things to do in network marketing, I have simplified it to follow the trail of what creates income in network marketing. So if you look at 
dreams. Dreams need to be paid for. There are no dreams that are free. Right? Even somebody say, oh no, walking in the park is free. It is not free. You need to drive to the park. You need to have time. All right? And the only way you can have time if you have financial freedom, then you can go and walk in the park. On a normal day, not when there's thousands of people there on the weekend. You understand? All right. You want to run on a beach. It takes money to fly to the nicest beach in the world and to run on that beach. Nothing in life is free. Not even sunshine and air, guys. I'm telling you this. Nothing in life is free. Wake up. Smell the coffee. All right. This is my mantra. Nothing in life is free. Actually, you know, we should make a t-shirt. Nothing in life is free. Sign up. Hashtag QNet. You, you understand or not? Uh, and and if you follow the trail, all your dreams require time or money or both. Agree? All your dreams require time, money or both. Now, society is divided to an interesting group of people. The first group of people got all the time in the world. All right? They are retired. Uh, they have a little bit of savings. Okay, they got all the time in the world and they just sit on a rocking chair or they spend time with their grandchildren and that's beautiful, nothing against that. All right? There's another group of people with all the money in the world. These are the filthy rich people who built a business that cannot survive without them. There's no leverage, there's no duplication. It's a one man or one woman show and they usually die eventually in the office behind a desk. All right? But they have reasonable amount of money. Then you have 95% of society. No time, no money. That means they go to work, come back home, 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 and they're still broke at the end of the month because they get paid so little to give up 12 to 14 hours of their life every day. Right? Then there is a group of people with all the time and all the money in the world. Now, this fourth category is where we should aspire to be, correct? It's called financial freedom. So if you take all your dreams and you put it up there, any one of your dreams, guys, look at your dream list. All right, Zul, uh, Vicky, Kunan, look at your dream list. So it's okay, right? If there's one place where there's a potential for a corporate guy to have financial freedom is in QNet, the V and QI guys, right? Because that is we build a platform where anyone can rise. And bottom line, guys, if you look at all your dreams and you list it down and put on the side of your dreams T and M, one is time, one is money, right? You got a bracket and you tick what do you need. Now you want to spend more time with your family, you need time. All right. Now, the reason why you want to spend more time with your family because it's important to you. You want to buy a new car, you need money. You want to go for a one-month holiday in Milan and stay in a five-star hotel, you need time and money. All right. You want to buy a very good health insurance for everyone in your family so you don't have to worry about their health in the future, you need money. All right. You want to take your kids and drive them to school every day without fail, you need time and you need money. You, you understand? So you think about it. Our life is controlled by two things, time and money. And before you signed up in QNET, your life was reasonably screwed. It was hopeless. You had no time and no money. You worked 14, 16 hours a day and your weekends was to recover and do chores and buy groceries. And then Monday, you get a heart attack. All right? More heart attacks happen on Monday than any other day in the world because people are struggling to find time and money. Now, you now belong in a platform called QNET, which has the possibility of giving you time and money. So you look at all your dreams, all your dreams that you wrote down after the eight basic building blocks or after coming to VCon or sitting down or when you started your journey. Look at your dream list. Everything required time or money or both. All right. So we agree. All right. Now, you have something called a tracking center. That tracking center can mean nothing or it can mean everything to you. All right, that tracking center is providing some of our leaders, all right, 30, 40,000, 60,000 a week US dollars. And of course, there are people earning 250 a week and some people earn every three weeks 250. Doesn't matter. That tracking center is a source of income. It's your business. It produces potential income. The potential is limitless. Now, your tracking center is left. And right, you know this, right? If you don't smack the person who did the presentation to you. Your tracking center is left and it has right. All right? And every time something good happens, that means somebody buys a product, somebody signs up, all right? You get BV. And every time your BV accumulates to 3,000 on the left, 3,000 on the right, you get a commission that goes into your Quest account, all right? 
Okay? 3,000 BV on the left, 3,000 BV on the right. 3,000 BV can be a combination of six products, can be one product, can be two products. It doesn't matter. There's a variety of products to buy because every product in QNET has a dollar cost and a BV, right? Attached to the retail price. So you have left, you have right, okay? And you have BVs, right? 3,000 BV, 3,000 BV, you earn maybe 250. 6,000 BV, 6,000 BV, you earn 500. 9,000 BV, 9,000 BV, you earn 750. If you're gold rank, all right? And you should aspire for higher ranks, okay? So let's talk about this for one minute. Now, where does BV come from? BV comes from somebody completing a purchase of a product on the QNET e-store, QNET.net, correct? All right, you go on QNET.net, you go to the e-store, you buy a product. Depending on what product that person buys, it decides how much BV goes on the left and right. You understand this. I hope you do. All right? Now, where does that BV come from? That BV comes from a purchase. Now, that person who bought the product has no idea what QNET is, like most people in society. They have no freaking idea about network marketing. They were approached by somebody. That person is an existing IR in your organization, your downline. Your downline approached that person by calling them and saying, Hi, I have something very exciting to show you. Can I have 15, 20 minutes to have coffee? If you like what you see, we talk. If you don't like what you see, we have a good cup of coffee. Colors finish, all right? That is called prospecting and inviting. And then that person, after prospecting and inviting that person to a coffee shop or a hotel coffee shop or wherever, all right, does a presentation. Are you getting where I'm going with this? Uh -huh. He does a presentation. In that presentation, he convinces that person to buy a product or to sign up in QNET, right? Sign up, buy a product. And that BV travels to your tracking center. 3,000 BV, 3,000 BV, you get paid. So if you really study the whole concept of making your dreams reality and you follow the trail of how to make enough time and money to live your dream life, it comes down to one action called presentation. It is the most important activity in network marketing. It is the most important activity in network marketing. Are you guys with me? Now, this is what Dato Sri Vijay taught me 25 years ago. He said, Batman, all right, what's the most important thing in a restaurant? The chair, the table, the lights, or the food? The food. That's why today, if you look at the trend around the world, People are eating street food. Street food restaurants are getting a Michelin star. A Michelin star means you are the best of the best of the best restaurants in the world. Previously, Michelin, which you don't know, is actually a tire company that makes Michelin tires. They had a book called The Michelin Guide that when you change tires, they give you the book to help you look for restaurants while you're driving around town. Now, that Michelin star is now a recognition of the best restaurants in the world. Some restaurants got one star, two star, three star, I don't know, four star. Maybe JR and Kuna knows, but I don't, okay? Must ask them, actually. And today, Michelin is starting to give, you know, Michelin stars to street restaurants, street food vendors. Like this amazing lady in Bangkok who makes this fantastic Thai omelette, you know, JR knows, all right? Kun Fei, I think, all right? And uh, Kun Fai, Kun Fai or Kun Fei, I forgot, all right? The, the food matters. Her restaurant is very humble, wooden stools, cats running around, but people queue up for hours to get a seat. So what's the most important thing when you run a restaurant? It comes down to the food, the taste, the flavor, the cutlery, the plates, the lights don't matter anymore. Right? Now, what is the most important activity in network marketing? Presentation. How much you love QNET, how great QNET is, how great you are, how much training you have attended, all the knowledge you have acquired, how you dress, how you look, all of this is secondary. The primary activity is presentation. Now, the problem is you have not managed to accept this as the undisputed truth of financial freedom. The only way you will ever achieve financial freedom in network marketing is if your people understand the most important activity in network marketing is presentation, presentation, presentation. And I have said it in every video, everywhere, on stage, everywhere. Now, for some reason, if you evaluate your network, evaluate yourself, when's the last time you did a presentation? I'm asking you, as your chief, 
SEO upline representing Japa and Datos TV, I'm asking on their behalf, when is the last time you did a presentation? You, watching me on Insta Live today, when's the last time you called somebody, sat down, sold them a product, signed them up, all right, so the BV traveled to your tracking center? That's ultimately what you have to do. So if you evaluate your whole network, all right, you will be shocked. And I'm telling you to do this as painful. The truth must be unleashed. As painful as it is, if you evaluate your network and ask everyone, all right, they don't do enough presentation. So if you're struggling to understand why your check is not growing, if you're struggling to understand why you're struggling to move rank or increase your income with QNET, the answer is very simple. Because your downlines, as amazing as you love them, uh, as long as uh, they're all morons with dreams and I respect them and I love them and I love all of you, but they are too lazy and they're not doing enough presentation. That's about it. All right? That's the fact. Because if they do more presentation, the more people will sign up and the more people sign up, the more BVs travel to your tracking center, which will be calculated and pays you a commission. So if you are struggling to raise your commission, if you are struggling to increase the size of your check, all right, don't analyze, don't overanalyze this. Don't go and see a priest and ask them, please bless me for max out. All right, don't wear more, you know, amulets and all that stuff. I, the reason I'm talking about this, I have an in, inner circle joke with a lot of people who wear rings and stuff, all right, to get better luck in QNET. I can tell you, I will be your advisor today, all right? You can give me a special name one day, you understand? The only answer to your success, the only way you will achieve max out is not by looking at the moon and the sun and the planets. It's by looking at your network and making sure that they're all doing presentation, presentation, presentation. That's it. Now, but you see, as much as you convince people to sign up, which is the beginning part of the journey with your downline, after that, you still have to convince your downlines on many things. And one thing you have to convince them on, which is fundamentally important, is you have to convince them to practice the culture of presentation. If you evaluate their TAT this week, week 16, you should add something to the TAT of all your people is how many presentations they do. Because that's what networking is about. So I know people who love QNET, who are very good trainers, who love to speak, love to go up on stage, love power of association, love chilling out with their downlines, love listening to the great ones, Japa and Dato Sri Vijay, loyal to the fullest, but not earning money. And then we analyze why. Because they did everything except the most important activity in network marketing is called presentation. Are you guys with me? So think about this. Evaluate your network. Now you need to convince your downlines like I'm convincing you right now. What am I doing right now on my Insta life? Besides looking gorgeous with the hat and all that, I am actually convincing you. I'm selling you that you need to practice one culture to a fanatical level that is presentation. But you're not doing this with your downlines. So get all your freaking downlines to go to my Insta page, follow it and watch this Insta live on my grid after this. Because the, if the morons don't understand that there's only one activity that truly matters, there's presentation, you're never going to succeed in network marketing. Because we are not a social club. We're not a place for you to feel good, you know. There are many other associations, YMCA, YWCA, you understand a lot of uh, associations and clubs and groups out there to let you feel good. We are here to help you achieve your dreams and your dreams needs time and money. All right, more money than time sometimes. And that comes from your tracking center. And the only way your tracking center can earn money as it, it, it only can earn money if your downlines are doing presentation and selling our products and promoting the concept of entrepreneurship with, uh, with QNET. That's the only way it can work. There's no other way. Are you guys with me? So ask yourself, are you doing enough presentations? When was your last? Presentation. Now, Datusri's mantra, which he instilled in me 25 years ago, which I believe in 100% today, is monkey see, monkey do. So the problem you have 
is that if you don't believe this is the most important activity, if you don't practice this culture, if you don't get off the sofa every day and do presentation, regardless of the size of your check, your rank or who you are, I don't care. All right, you have to do it because monkey see, monkey do. I, I, I still do presentation until today. And I'm financially free. I should be on the beach singing Kumbaya. Are you guys with me now? But I still do it because monkey see, monkey do. I still sit down. Not as much as I should, guys. Maybe three, four times a month. I still sit down and do a present. If I am doing presentation, what's your bloody excuse? All right? Now, some people said, oh, chief, I'm a AVP, V partner, super duper, max out king or queen. I cannot. Are you kidding? Tato Sri Vijay still does presentation. How he does it is wherever we go. All right, he meets somebody and says, what are you doing? How long are you working here? Blah, blah, blah. In five minutes, magician, okay? In five minutes, he'll say, Fatman, show him the plan. And after I send Datu Sri to the room, I'll come down, get his number. The next day, I'll meet him for coffee and show the presentation. That's how we tagged him, me and Datu Sri Vijay. Because Datu Sri Vijay believes you can stop being anything, but you must never stop being a networker. All right, remove your ego out of the way. Whoever you are, Trust me, if you don't practice the culture of presentation, there will, a, there will come a time. Good day, mate. I forgot Australia. There will come a time when you are forced to do it. Are you guys with me? So all I'm telling you guys is follow the trail. You want your dreams to become a reality. Your dreams require time and money. All right? And that comes from your tracking center. All right? And your tracking center only pays you when somebody signs up. And buys a product. And that sign up and buying a product only comes when somebody does a presentation. So evaluate your organization. Add presentation to the TAT. I would do that. Add presentation. The number of presentations. And you as an upline, as a leader watching me on Insta Live today, duplicate me. I still talk about presentation fanatically, passionately. Because I know after 25 years, it's the only answer to financial freedom are you guys with me so this is your chief on record officially on his insta live wake up smell the coffee do everything you're supposed to do but what you must focus on what is your number one priority in culture behavior of your network marketing organization has never changed for 120 years guys All right it is presentation presentation Presentation. Now, somebody said it's hard to do presentation in a tough market. No, do it anyway. Even if you have a crisis, keep doing presentation. Get the no, but don't stop because practice makes perfect. All right? You understand? People want to avoid you. You chase them down and you do the presentation. Are you guys with me? Remember, presentation is bringing them to the table. All right? I always call people. I say, I got an exciting, 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 all right, opportunity to discuss with you. All right? Can we meet for coffee? No obligation. You hear what I have to say. If you like it, we talk further. If you don't like it, we catch up. All right? I always need an additional friend. Are you guys with me? So this week, week 16, get off your sofa. Be a leader, leadership by example. Monkey see, monkey do like Dato Sri Vijay taught us. Go out there. This week, don't do anything except speak of the culture of presentation. Don't, nothing should come out of your mouth except Presentation, presentation, presentation. Are you guys with me? All right. So this is your chief saying, I love you. Welcome to week 16. Uh, I'm coming to see you guys in Bangkok. And then I'm traveling around the world. I'm going to Switzerland with Japa and Dato Sri Vijay, JR, Kuna, all the V partners. All right. Uh, to all my brothers and sisters in Sudan, please stay safe. I'm praying for you. All right. For those of you all who don't know, Sudan is going through a very um, unstable political situation, uh, very dangerous situation. So I'm praying for everyone. At least stay safe. Everyone, please stay safe in Sudan. I'm praying for you guys. I love you guys. Welcome to week 16. And this is your chief with his chief hat, representing the great ones, Japadas Bismarck, Dato Sri Vijay Ishwan, telling you only one thing, the most important activity, the only activity that is going to take you closer to financial freedom is presentation, presentation, presentation. Love you guys.